Hey guys, this is VV Theory again, and welcome to tutorial number 11 on the Visual Basic Learning Series. So, today's tutorial is about registry. So, uh, we, I'm gonna show you what that is. So, go to and type in regedit in your search, uh, in your start menu. I've got Windows 8. Uh, it looks pretty much the same thing on uh, Windows 7 or below anyway so here is registry so this is the registry editor it's uh, it edits registry values obviously so we've got five main folders here H key current config, H key users, H key local machine, H key current user, and H key classes root. These folders contain other folders which contain uh, sub keys, or actually, let's call it just some values, registry values, which are used by many applications. Uh, Windows uses it a lot. It's like a, like a, all the settings are stored in the registry. S uh, so let's start this off. And uh, for because we're editing uh, registry, we need to have privilege uh, administrator privileges. So if you're on uh, Windows 7, Vista, or Windows 8 like me you just right click uh, the icon if it's on your taskbar if it's not just right click it so hold shift and right click and press run as administrator uh, if you're on uh, Windows XP or below that's okay you don't need to do this step so I'm gonna start a new project here and what I wanted to do, let's add in a button first. What I want this button to do is uh, create a new folder in H key classes root. So let's double click it and type in my dot computer dot registry dot and you have here all the folders the main five folders we talked about so classes root current config current user local machine and users so I'm gonna go with classes root and dot create sub key and open parentheses it's gonna ask for a name for that sub key we'll give it a smiley face and uh, if we want to make to add values to it so uh, dot after the parenthesis set value and uh, I'll show you later what I want to, to say so let's give it a name if you want it to be default you just leave it blank but we want to give it a name so we'll call it VB theory for example and comma and we'll give it a value one two three for example and this is the name I gave it one two three and close the parenthesis now we'll run it and click the button and now if we go and refresh this so go to view refresh or press F5 we'll expand this guy and search for let's just search for it find and smiley face and here it is and it has VB theory and the value of it is 123 one more thing, uh, I'm gonna delete this guy. 
and if you already have uh, uh, a, a sub key so here's what and you wanna add in uh, a value so you type in my dot computer dot registry dot and uh, you go basically to your uh, uh, what is it called to your sub key so open sub key and parentheses again and here uh, its name dot set value and we'll give it an another random name blah, 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 blah and a random value and that would do the same uh, thing but it's not gonna create another sub key it's just gonna add in a value there okay so let's move on to another thing I'm gonna add in a text box here okay and let me get my regulated window I'm gonna search for uh, a random sub key this guy for example and I would like to get the value of this uh, this thing here so what I'm gonna do is double click the button so we show up the code and type in my dot computer dot registry dot classes root it depends on what you want dot and here we type in either get uh, get sub key names or get type get value value kind or value names so we need get value and the name of it is you should actually type in the path which is um, actually let me get the path there dot wvx dot wvx and slash actually backslash and the name of this uh, guy we want is content type so content type I don't know if it's uh, case sensitive but uh, anyway just try to get the same caps and uh, small letters textbox one dot text equals my dot computer dot registry dot classes root dot get value and here the path of that um, thing so we double click here and nothing happens let me check what's wrong here let me switch this guy like that and see and I don't know why it's happening so I'll be right back to you guys okay so I figured out what the problem was and I didn't type in uh, dot open sub key so uh, you type in a text box one dot text equals my dot computer dot registry dot classes root dot open sub key and you type in the name of your sub key which is for me dot wvx wvx and close the parenthesis and press uh, point dot get value and here you type in uh, the name of that uh, registry thing so it's content type for me and when I run it and press the button as you can see the same value here is this one here so yeah, 
I will let you uh, browse all the settings available in this there are a lot of settings there uh, I can't show them to you all because of uh, the time limit of YouTube but anyway you get the idea and uh, yeah so uh, if you find this video useful please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos also I will maybe this week or next week start Photoshop tutorials uh, I've been uh, people send me requests uh, my friends tell me to make Photoshop tutorials so I will get their requests but the first thing I will do is a speed art because I like speed arts I will start with this gu that guy and the next week I will start the tutorials so make sure you check those out if uh, they're out now and there will there will be an annotation on the screen right now to go check that speed art once it's uh, uploaded and thank you guys for watching